Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk to you about a new version of Anaconda that has been set up for the M1 Mac with the ARM processor. Uh, this new version of Anaconda was created or released back in May, I think May 22nd. And so uh, I've been using MiniForge, uh, which is a, uh, a repository that was set up for the M1 Mac. And I don't believe that it's an official Anaconda repo. Uh, I think it's been set up by a different community. And my guess is that over time, the this new Anaconda uh, version for the M1 is going to become the preferred version. Uh, so I decided to switch over. I want to show you how to switch over. Let's run over to the desktop now and uh, go over to this window. And you can see here, I'm at www.anaconda.com. You press the download link, and this will put uh, the file in your downloads directory or wherever you've set up your downloads to go. And uh, if I do a, an LL of capital A star, you'll see that this uh, script has been put in here. This is the installation script for Anaconda. And Actually, this says March, no, here it is, yeah, May 22nd, uh, May of 2022. And when this comes in, it's like this one. It's not executable. So you have to do a chmod plus x of the file. And once you do that, it becomes executable, and then you can run it. So uh, I'm not going to do that. I've already done it. Uh, but you can do a dot slash and then the file name dot sh and this will run the installer and it'll come up and it'll say you have to approve the license and then you just keep hitting the space bar uh, you read the license and hit the space bar to get through it and then at the end you type yes and uh, then it's going to ask you a couple of other questions about where you want to stick things and uh, uh, you know, read read all of that stuff carefully. There's some more information in there, and uh, and so on. But one of the things that will happen when you do this is it will overwrite the uh, initialization uh, portion of your .zshrc file. So I have an alias for this. Uh, so this section will get overwritten. This is actually the new stuff here. So you might want to make a copy of the old stuff from MiniForge and squirrel it away in a file someplace in case you want to go back. Because the uh, MiniForge will still be on your system. It doesn't wipe that out. It just changes what gets initialized here. So. Uh, it's something to keep in mind. You may want to go back also into a mini forge to take a look at your environments and see what's in there because your environments will not be available from within Anaconda, only from within mini forge. So you'll have to recreate your environments uh, for this. So uh, anyway, once this is, once this is done, uh, close this window that you've been working in. In fact, close all your terminals and uh, then reopen them and you will get uh, the new version of Anaconda running and then you can do your, uh, uh, you'll, you'll have to recreate your environments. So I did a Conda create and there's my Bloom environment and then I did my uh, installs of Accelerate and uh, the other one I did here was Transformers and Transformers uh, came in as an ARM based uh, environment and uh, 
Accelerate yeah. came in as no arch, so uh, I don't know if that would have been the case using Mini Forge. I'll have to go back and test that. But uh, Transformers uh, came in fine, and uh, then if I go into Python here, I can do an install or import. transformers and we're good so that works so if you if you want to uh, switch from mini forge over to anaconda uh, you can do that now and this is this is how uh, so once again uh, do make a uh, make a copy of your docs file so that you can look up that uh, Initialization. You'll have all the initializ initialization code for MiniForge in case you want to put it back in. Uh, and then uh, you, you should be good to go on this. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I need to tell you about it. Uh, I hope this makes you more productive and uh, your system runs a little better based on this. And I thank you for joining me.